Greetings and welcome back to the Car Doctor Studios in Anchorage, Alaska. Thanks for stopping by. Got a quick tip today for owners of certain Toyota products. Experiencing a code P0420 and or code P0430, a catalytic converter efficiency code. And this coverage should uh, include year models 2002 through 2006. It should cover the Highlander and the Camry, the Solara, and the RAV4 with the 2.4 variable valve timing engine. So basically there is a technical service bulletin on this rig and they were extending the warranty coverage for like eight years and 80,000 miles. Uh, but all the vehicles affected under this tip are going to be outside of a warranty or emissions warranty on it. So you're going to have to suck it up on the repairs. But I think I can save you a few bucks. And basically with any cat efficiency code like this, it's handy if you do have access to a scan tool and you can watch the O2 sensors and the O2 sensor operation should show you whether or not you indeed have a, a cap problem or maybe an O2 problem on the outside edge, but uh, it's just not common with this code on this particular vehicle. It's uh, highly probable that you're gonna need to replace the cap. We've seen them fail at 80, 90,000 miles. Uh, this particular rig is 150K. It's got the original cat and it's never been replaced along with the original O2s. Also the technical service bulletin in this case is gonna refer to an update, which is a PCM reprogram that changes the parameters of the cat efficiency testing and also the catalytic converter is an updated style cat. So basically when you're confirming these, the probability of a cat being the cause, we're looking at all four O2s and basically the front O2s, bank one and bank two, are should be fluctuating between rich and lean, uh, basically between zero and one volt. And then the rear O2 activity should be a lot less. And uh, if you pull them up on uh, graphing on the scan tool, you should be able to notice the difference. However, if the rear O2s are about as active as the front, that's showing that the catalyst is not actually catalyzing, burning up oxygen in the process, and uh, therefore the the, they're going to be switching about the same rate as the front O2s, which is going to indicate that the cats are bad. There's an outside chance that you may have a, an O2 going bad. In this case, it's, it's probably referred to as an air fuel ratio sensor and not an O2 on the upstream side. So anyway, in this case, I've determined that the cat itself is bad. I did give the customer an option to replace all four O2s at the same time but the O2s are pretty expensive. That was gonna add another $700 to the bill, in this case, to do the front air fuel ratio sensors and the downstream O2s. So we're just gonna wing it and uh, pull the, the old O2s out of the cat and install them in the replacement cat. So basically in this case, what I uh, have done is I raised the vehicle and then remove the two lower exhaust pipe flange bolts, the bolts with the springs on them. And then there's two brackets that you'll need to remove on either side of the lower end of the header pipe where the cap flanges connect to the exhaust pipe. There's two brackets that connect the bottom side of the cap to the block face, little angle brackets. And you'll wanna remove the nuts and bolts and those two brackets as well. And then you can lower the vehicle down. And uh, what you wanna do first is remove the engine cover and then remove your heat shrouds on the front and top face of the cat assembly. That'll allow you access to remove the bolts that secure the cat manifold assembly to the cylinder head. 
So once you've uh, done that, go ahead and remove all four O2 sensor wire connectors. You can follow them up on the right and left side of the engine around the ends of the valve cover. There's two sets of connectors. You wanna just disconnect your connectors and then uh, remove your manifold assembly. So once you've removed it, I threw mine up in a, a bench vise here and I'm just uh, removing the O2 sensors that way. I'm loosening them so that I can transfer them later and put them in the exact same position. You certainly wouldn't want to get the positions messed up at this point. The connectors uh, won't, the connectors won't reach. Uh, and uh, it, it, if they did, you'd, you'd have all sorts of trouble. Um, with your, uh, you'd have check engine lights and whatnot afterwards, so. Anyway, basically just reversing the installation procedure to get things buttoned back up. I'm going to start it back up and monitor my O2 sensors and as you can see here I've got them graphed out and the fronts are switching normally and the rears uh, obviously are not switching at the same rate they're staying pretty constant so that shows us that the cats are functioning normally and then I just go ahead and clear the codes and uh, confirm the repairs and this thing's going to be back on the road. So once again, I thank you for stopping by the Car Doctor Studios. I hope this helps, and I wish you good luck with your repairs. Have a good one.